Okay, guys, so whenever you log into your Blackboard, into our course, this is the home screen that you'll see. So the first thing you'll always see is the announcement sections section. So of course, everything on this page is very important. So you want to scroll down. This is the first announcement that I uh, did for you all. Um, and this is also how to access your My Pearson code. So everything on this page is going to be really important. This is, of course, the welcome announcement. And these things will stay for a couple weeks. Uh, so you can always reference back to them. So don't worry about anything ever disappearing on you too fast. And if it does, just send me a quick chat through the Remind app or an email, and I'll get this back to you uh, really quickly. Uh, so what I really want to pay attention to, first off, is I want to go into the Learning Module section, okay, and show you everything that's due for the week. I, I think this is, I think you have this down packed, but I really wanted to log on just to, you know, be sure if anybody had any questions, there's no such thing as a dumb question. Um, but when you go into learning modules, you're going to scroll down to module one. And whenever you log, when you when you click into module one, it's going to show you everything that's due for the week. It's going to give you some objectives. It's going to give you the module one overview. Now, I suggest that you read this, that you click the link. I'm not going to click it right now. But you click it and read it because it's going to give you everything, basically an overview of what's due for the module. Now, I do this in the in the announcement, but I don't always cover every single detail. So it's always critical that you read this module one overview as well. Um, in the module, it's always going to give you a few resources uh, that will help you throughout the week. Um, but I, what I really want to pay attention to um, Oh, sorry is the discussion board and the short paper all right so first we'll click into the discussion board and of course there are two ways to get in the discussion board you can go just like we did through the learning modules and come down and click this link right here or before you even click in the learning modules you can just click discussion board and it'll take you there the exact same way but since we went through the learning module I'm gonna do that right here as well all right, so there's a couple tabs for some questions, uh, getting started, general questions. I think most of those questions there have to do with uh, accessing the, 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 the uh, Pearson code, and I'm going to explain that in another email. Uh, but what I want to focus on here is the discussion board assignment. So I'm not going to read it detail by detail, but what I do want to point out is that there's always going to be several prompts to respond to all right so if you notice here it says why have you come to SNHU, SNHU for your degree what degree program have you decided to pursue and what concerns do you have so it's critical as a graduate student that you always expound and be detailed and thorough in your responses I don't want you to be too matter-of-fact here uh, the discussion board assignments are really seen as a short paper it's not informal. Uh, it's really you want to focus on your grammar structure, uh, the content, and, and you want to write well. You want to you want to be a graduate level writer uh, on these discussion boards. Uh, also, what's critical here is the response instructions. OK, so you have to read the questions thoroughly because it says before you respond to your peers, navigate to the following areas of your course in Blackboard. All right, so it says the course information tab, the research and writing tab, and the course tools. All those can be found right over here. So you have course information, research and writing, and course tools. So those are all there. Now, after you navigate there, it's going to give you some specific response instructions. Because remember, you have to respond to at least two peers. It says when you respond to your peers, list two resources that you have not seen before that you find helpful and describe how these resources can help your classmate as he or she moves through the course. All right. So last last term when I taught this course, there were a lot of people who lost points because they did not adhere to the response instructions. We're going to we're going to help you. Uh, we're going to generate some conversation for you 
So you don't want to just have a general response to where you kind of respond how you want to. Everything is kind of formatted and it kind of gives you a layout and, and kind of really promotes conversation there. So please follow those instructions. Uh, I cannot give you full credit if you do not follow instructions thoroughly. So be sure to go to all those tabs and you respond properly. Everybody got that? All right, good deal. All right, so I'm going to go back really quick. This is a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. I think it's pretty good information. Uh, so the next thing you have is the short paper, uh, the program preview right here. All right, so I'm not going to read the instructions to you, but what I will highlight is the questions in the middle. As I said for the discussion board, there's always going to be several questions or prompts for you to respond to. Be thorough, be detailed, uh, and make sure you get to them all. What I do want to bring your attention to is the short paper guidelines, uh, the rubric. So what are the paper guidelines for this short paper? So if you scroll down a little bit further, all right, you'll see where it says assignment guidelines and rubrics. This is critical. So, okay, I didn't click it. No, I did. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and I'll see short paper guidelines and rubric. So I'll click there and I'm going to wrap this up really quick here. So there's a lot on this page and I'm going to get to this. I'll, I'll come back to this each week. But what I want to bring your attention to quickly is the short paper topic. The one we have due for this week program preview module one. You see it is one to two pages in length. OK, one to two pages in length. If we come down for the guidelines for submission, all papers should adhere to the page requirements listed above here and be double spaced size 12 size size 12 times New Roman. I apologize for that. That font size. So I had a, a few students last term that had trouble kind of, you know, adhering to these. This, uh, these directions. So please, please, please be detailed and follow these instructions. Okay. So that's really all I wanted to bring your attention to um, for, for this not brief announcement, this seven minute announcement. Uh, but I, I just wanted to put you at ease. I didn't want to have uh, any questions that went unanswered. Uh, so get those assignments in. Don't procrastinate. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about time management. Uh, so we'll be able to kind of touch bases on that as well. So if you have any questions, Email me, chat me. I will respond quickly. All right. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.